So I'm Des Kennedy, I'm the director of Gulliver's Travels, which is being produced by Youth Music Theatre UK at the Lyric Theatre in Belfast. Uh, we're really excited to be doing this production again. We did it at the Lyric two years ago uh, with a cast of young people, both from Northern Ireland, uh, the South and the rest of the UK. And we're really grateful that the Lyric have brought us back. It was such a success two years ago that the Lyric decided to bring it back this summer. Uh, we've changed some of it. There's some new songs, there's some new scenes. And it's terrific to be doing this story in Belfast where Swift wrote Gulliver's Travels. So my job basically was to take the book, Jonathan Swift's book, and uh, turn it into a musical. And uh, you know, when you're adapting something like that, it's quite difficult because it's, uh, it's quite an episodic novel. And I wanted to make sure that uh, there's a more of a through line uh, to it. And also in the book, he goes to all sorts of different bizarre places, many of which haven't been covered in a lot of adaptations. You know, we associate Gulliver's Travels with the, the stories we read at school, which is the, obviously him being very, very small or being very, very big. Uh, but actually he also goes to an island of the dead, um, uh, a flying island, all this sort of stuff. So when I was adapting it, I was quite keen to incorporate the less known elements of the novel. The music was written, uh, I wrote it with um, Andrew Doyle, um, who wrote the, the book and the lyrics. And then I had the, the joy of putting attaching melodies to these, these words. And um, we wrote it over a few months, uh, a couple of years ago when, we were, uh, when it was first done. Um, and it, th there's like four distinct worlds that Gulliver visits. So we tried to create music that reflected those different worlds. So they each have maybe a slightly different kind of feel or tone to them. One of them, um, the Isle of the Puta, is kind of more this kind of hedonistic uh, world and, and the music is uh, kind of reflects that and then uh, others are more kind of traditional in the, the kind of the instrumentation that we were thinking of for it and um, but it's really it's interesting coming back to it a couple of years later and hearing the songs again because uh, a lot of them aren't ones that I would be singing in the normal gigs um, so it's it's been lovely to come back and hear the, the cast performing them and go oh yeah I remember that <laughs>